What's up, TJS fam? It's the J Show with two wise and thick guys. I'm here with another video. So today, yesterday, we're gonna be reacting to um, Sister Rosetta Tharp up above my head, and this is for charity. Thank you, charity, so much for your support. Um, before we jump in this video, be prepared to like and comment, okay? And subscribe, all right? So I already have the video pulled up and I have my handy daddy headphones. So I'm about to go ahead and start screen recording and three, two, one. And I'm about to go ahead and push play now. And the next, we're gonna bring on the great spiritual singer, Sister Rosetta Thoughts. Hmm. That's an electric guitar. Oh, she's beautiful. Wait a second, hold on. She had this, she had this, um, and I hear some of the um chords and everything. I'm wondering, was was she before the like the Beatles and all like the big top bands we had before that? Like, was she before all of them? Because of, if that's the case, wouldn't she have an influential part in rock and roll? I don't know. Let me keep it going. We would be sad, sad, that's what I'm wondering. If that was no music. Stop the screen recording. Forgive me for, for asking, but it's certain parts of this where I can see kind of like the fundamentals when it comes to rock and roll. And I'm kind of wondering, was she out before the Beatles? Because 
um, for example, the Beatles is a staple. It's a lot of people who was like, you know, it's a lot of like rock icons that's a staple. So if she was able to play like that and then, you know, some of it kind of leaned towards rock. It's showing that she did. It says that she was in the 1930s. And I'm looking up. I'm trying to look up when I'm looking now. It says she's in the 1930s. I'm looking up Jimi Hendrix. So I'm trying to figure out why. How come I never heard about her until now? Jimi Hendrix was 1966. She was out in the 1930s with the electric guitar. So it makes me wonder, like, how come she didn't? How come they're not saying that she's like a staple in it too? I'm I'm really confused about that. Because she was out like way more years before that. So maybe, I don't know, if maybe like, you know, her songs just wasn't a good enough staple to be remembered or something. But it had to be remembered because the charity would never brought it up. So... Um, you know, I don't know. I just, I kind of wonder about that because you can tell she had skills at that guitar. So I'm, and I was, and I was hearing her play. I'm like, wait a second, you know, so I don't know. Um, you know, I do feel like the Beatles and everybody's staples, but I feel like, you know, I mean, maybe I feel like because it's so long before, you know, like it's since it's in the thirties, maybe people forgot, you know, or just didn't, maybe a lot of people don't know who she is, or maybe people just feel like she wasn't, you know, as great as the Beatles. So that makes sense. But I gotta, I gotta count her as some kind of a staple because for her to be able to do that in the in the '30s, no, I'm just like, mm, mm, you know. So overall, it was really, really great. But yeah, um, I enjoyed this. Thank you, Charity, so much for sharing this with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, push the bell notification. Make sure you guys be updated another video. If you're not part of TGS fam, be with the uncle people over there. Don't be with them. Be with us. If you guys would like to join my Patreon, I get some merch. Click in the description box below. Also, if you guys would like to send me mail or a message or you know anything, it's gonna be my address is gonna be here and also listed down below. If you guys would like to talk to me outside of YouTube, click in the description box below. There's links to all of my social media. So if you talk to me, I definitely do talk back. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.